one night in Istanbul. A stage celebration of perhaps Liverpool's finest hour five years ago with a special guest appearance. But with Istanbul remembered at the Liverpool Empire, there's been stinging public criticism of the decline of Liverpool's empire and of the American owners Tom Hicks and George Gillette. The former owner, David Moores, says the current owners shouldn't punish the supporters anymore, warning that they risk damaging a sporting institution of global renown, and if they have a conscience or nobility, they will stand aside and allow new owners to take over the club. Hicks and Gillette have said they will sell the club, but any sale doesn't seem imminent. We're here in the, in the press that they want between 600 and 800 million, and then, you know, they, they're talking about it could take two years to happen. Oh my goodness, it's like a dagger to your heart all the time when, you, when you're reading these things. We want it, and we want it like it was yesterday, just to move on for a change of ownership. In the Premier League, Liverpool dropped from second to seventh last season, and with uncertainty about the future of Rafa Benitez, there's concern about further drift. If Rafa's going to stay, great, let's do it. And let's get on to that. We know what we can do. Let's see, you know, positive um, players who we're going to be looking at, you know, to get the, get the players up, season tickets and everything. Everybody's going to look forward to it. Or if he's going, you know, let us know that. But it's nothing at the moment. We're just, we're just in nothingness. And if Liverpool are to be dancing both in the streets and the theatre of dreams next season, Phil Thompson believes they must back their manager. We need to actually say if Raph is in charge, give him the money to spend. I know people will have a, have a complaint about but there's no other option. No other option. You give Raph it because we need to get better players in this season. Players good enough to create a second night in Istanbul. Mike Stanifor, Sky Sports.